On today's adventure, you'll be able to join us for a drive through Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg, Tennessee to check out some of the snow we just got overnight and this morning. The weather has caused the Great Smoky Mountain National Park to close down for the day, so we'll be stopping at places like Dollywood, Patriot Park, the Old Mill, the Pottery House, as we walk around the Old Mill District while it's snowing. We will also be stopping by the island in Pigeon Forge before we take a drive into Gatlinburg to walk around and see how crowded it is today and just give you some sights and sounds of the area for those who can't be here right now. Our morning started out at home with a light snowfall that had started overnight. Micah made up some eggs and we spent some time as a family relaxing by the fire. But before I get headed out, this ex-Floridian needs to get ready to battle the elements with my new hiking boots and heated jacket that Bree recently picked up for me on Amazon. So we start out today's video at Dollywood. You can see a little bit of snow here on the front entrance sign, but not as much as we've seen in the past. Let's go check out the parking area over here to the right. Here's a look at the parking lot at Dollywood right now. Off in the distance, you can normally see some mountains, but not at the moment. However, I do see some snow accumulating on top of the Wild Eagle roller coaster, as well as the tram stop over here to the right. Today, we've parked at C for cold. C for cold, it is cold right now. <laughs> so now that we've checked out Dollywood real quick, let's head down the road here to the old mill and see what's going on over there. So now that we've parked here at Patriot Park, right by the old mill, got lots of snow out here in the field. I see some people making a snowman. So this might be a great area to come to if you're in the area and looking for a place for the kids to run around and build a snowman. Let's walk over here and check out the snowman they're working on. So we have this snowman just created over here. Nice job. It's actually transitioned from a lot more rain we were getting at one point in time to now the snow is getting thicker, which I'll take thick snow over being out here in the rain any day. But let's work our way over to the old mill. As I just walked past all the stores over here to the right, they're all open, including the Iron Mountain Metalcraft is open to make your own knife right now. But there's something special about being out here when it's snowing. It just makes it look so neat, especially here at the pottery house across from the old mill. These igloos look so cool covered in snow. I could definitely go for a hot cup of soup right now. But actually, that's what Bree's making for dinner. So I'll get some soup later at home. One of the workers at the old mill just came out and was putting some salt on the sidewalk here. Thankfully, he didn't hit me with the salt as he was spreading it. Otherwise, I would have been assaulted. But not too many people here at the old mill restaurant at the moment. Let's work our way over to the river and see the current conditions. The water here at the old mill is much calmer than it was last time I was here. It always looks so beautiful with snow up on the top of the roof. Got some ducks enjoying their day like nothing's happening off in the distance.
So we're gonna leave the old mill district. I'm gonna head down the road over here to the left to go over to the island in Pigeon Forge and walk around with you. So here's a look at the island in Pigeon Forge. You can see a little bit of snow around the fountain, but not too much at the moment. We'll be getting a lot more throughout the day. It has unfortunately switched from snow, so now we're getting more rain at the moment. So hopefully it switches back over soon. You can see a little bit of snow has accumulated on some of the seats, which are completely empty at the moment. There's really nobody here for the most part. Just a couple of ducks enjoying the fountain area all to themselves. So if you're wondering, when are low crowds? They're in January. On days like today, there's hardly anyone out here. Perhaps we'll see more snow here on a different day, but let's head towards downtown Gatlinburg and see what we can find there. Now that we've made it into Gatlinburg, I figured I'd stop here at Herbert Holt Park as we showed it the other day after all the rain that we had. You can actually see the kids fishing pier now. They are gonna have to do some cleanup still with all the debris that is on the little pathway here and the rail that got knocked over, but it's currently 35 degrees, thus we're getting more rain right now. So hopefully it'll get a little bit colder. We'll get some more snow and uh, I'll have to come back and perhaps show you what it's like with more snow in this area. But let's go into downtown Gatlinburg and walk around and see what we can find. Walking through downtown, I did want to point out that Anakista was supposed to be open today. They did close down due to the weather. But let's check out the river here in front of the aquarium real quick. Let's go for a quick walk through downtown. Notice how empty the streets are at the moment. You can see some snowfall that accumulated here on the benches, but for the most part, it's just a lot of rain at the moment. Like the National Park in Anakista, the mirror maze here has also closed down for the day. But let's head over here towards the village. It looks like the pancake pantry is open and looks like we could walk right in and get a table right away if we wanted to. But Old Smoky Candy Kitchen is closed down right now and these snowmen over to the right is the most substantial snow I see at the moment. It's just a lot of rain right now. It looks like some places are open and others are closed. It's kind of a mix, but there is really nobody back here at the village right now. It's a rare sight to see no one at least sitting around enjoying a donut or coffee or something. It's very, very quiet back here. As we continue to walk down the street, here's a look at the crowd level and it's definitely just raining at this point. I think we'll be getting a lot more snow later this evening. The Sky Park is up and running right now. There's no wait for tickets. So you could go up top, it just looks like you wouldn't have the greatest visibility at the moment up at the Sky Bridge. Ober Mountain is up and running right now. I'm sure they are happy to get more snow later today. There's currently no way to get on the Ober Mountain tram ride, which has plenty of snow up top. Let me see if I can catch the other one coming back down through the fog.
This is just a reminder that not all heroes wear capes. Thank God for guys that work on the road and keep the power up and running when it goes down due to weather. With the national park being closed today, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. When it does open up, what parts of the park would you love to see covered in snow if we get a chance to go in? That wraps up today's video, checking out some of the snow in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg, Tennessee. If you enjoyed today's drive and walk, do us a favor and like this video and make sure you are subscribed to get more videos just like this in the future. My new jacket worked out great. It kept me warm and dry throughout all the snow and rain. My boots also worked out great, keeping my LeConte Lodge socks dry that I'll be enjoying by the fire, hopefully watching my Bucks beat the Eagles tonight. As we get more snow, I'll try to go out for more drives and walks to take you along. Again, just let us know in the comments where you'd like to go next. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.